What up, y'all? Krusty Train Guy 6 here. Uh, so today, I've got another unboxing video here for you guys of uh, a photograph um, that I thought might be interesting to some of you. Uh, it's definitely interesting to me, as it shows a location I'm very familiar with, and I'll get to that more in depth later. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So first thing you notice when I take this out is that it's actually not... A photograph per se it is wait for it we'll open this up I think all the important information is gone is has been removed it's a slide so here it is I've got a slide viewer um, and I'll grab that in a second. So unfortunately, I ran into some technical difficulties, but everything's been figured out now. And it actually gave me a chance to grab my slide viewer. When I do that, I'll turn the slide off. But anyway, um, before I was so rudely interrupted, as I'll probably show in like a blooper portion at the end, here's the information given on the slide. This is a picture of Norfolk Southern, number 5625. Uh, I don't know if number two or three, maybe that's the number of the locomotive behind it because it appears there are two locomotives as you will see when I put this in the slide viewer. I'm not sure what RRBO521 is. Uh, maybe that's like the milepost, I'm not sure. But as you can see, this is taken in Manassas, Virginia on November 2nd, 1993. So it's actually not super old compared to the other things that I've showed on this channel, but uh, it's definitely an image that can't be replicated, and that's why I got it. So, without further ado, I like that. I like that statement. Without further ado, anyway, I'm going to put it in the viewer and turn the light off. So here you go. I will try and. Focus it. There we go. So there it is. Unfortunately, I don't have a scan, like a good slide scanner. Uh, that that's pretty good though. But yeah, you can see uh, it's a Norfolk Southern train heading southbound at Manassas, Virginia. There's an industry to the right, and uh, this image would seem kind of not very special, except I know exactly where this spot is and I actually have rail fanned at the spot before that's what makes it kind of special so this was taken if you're familiar with Manassas Virginia this was taken on uh, the bridge over the tracks uh, on Liberia Avenue kind of near Manassas Park the uh, Manassas Park VRE station is pretty close to this but anyway that spur track is still there I don't think it's in use it's overgrown uh, but it's it's really cool to see that industry with some uh, box cars and I don't know that looks like a center bee maybe on the back there uh, so that's kind of cool and uh, uh, another reason why this is kind of special is of course that middle locomotive is a high hood don't see very many of those anymore especially not on this line but uh, it's also this train you see not very many freights go north through Manassas anymore um, if you've been watching some other actual rail rail fanning videos on my channel you know that only that the main ones that go through there, there's a rock train every now and then and a couple locals. This doesn't really look like a local, does it? Because it's not. There's three locomotives hauling uh, a trailer train. Uh, Norfolk Southern uh, had, a, had a major yard, well, when Potomac Yard shut down, Norfolk Southern relegated, they, they had some industries still in Alexandria, Springfield, and whatnot. Um, but there was a, a trailer facility, like a trailer train facility at a place called Van Dorn Street Yard. The, the yard is still there. Um, the location is now used for uh, ethanol trains. Hopefully I'll get a video of an ethanol train at the same spot. That'd be kind of cool. But for years after Pot Yard shut down, they, they transported uh, truck trailers to an offloading facility there. And this is the train uh, taking those trailers south to, I don't know where, um, maybe Charlottesville, Lynchburg, uh, Roanoke, who knows, but this tr this train does not exist anymore. Now, 
The biggest trains that you can find on this line are ethanol trains and the rock trains. Those are actually the only freight trains you see on this line. That doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't that many trains on this line anymore as there are a number of passenger uh, trains such as Amtrak and VRE. But this is definitely a scene that cannot be duplicated and that makes it priceless in my opinion. But anyway, that's all I have for this episode of looking at ancient train pictures with Krusty Train Guy 6 or whatever, whatever I'm going to call it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in this and you want to see more videos like this, then uh, I would not say no to you subscribing and liking the video. So thanks a lot.